All right, guys. Welcome back to this next video. As you know by the title, you know what we're talking about. Um, the Atlantic Division. It's coming really tough. Um, so as I'm speaking uh, right now, it's October 15th. So uh, the Ottawa Senators just signed uh, Evgeny Dedanov. So that kind of just starts the conversation on how tough this year's Atlantic Division is. Mm -hmm. He's a consistent like 25 to 30 goal scorer. Played in, I think, the cage. Left NHL. Uh, went to the KHL for a bit, came back and still was producing at a 70-point pace. Like He's a good player. Great veteran, 28-29, player. brings that experience. Three-year contract, 5 mil, easily. Like a 30-goal score, 5 mil. And on a, team Very that, solid. on a team that has cap space, I don't think... Very solid. I don't, I don't think their cap is really their issue. Yeah. But, I mean, holy crap, is Ottawa like closing down that gap? Mm -hmm. Like, they were last place by a mile. Them and Detroit were like last place... In the Atlantic Division by a mile, but so far, mm -hmm. let's just recap. They the draft they owned the draft, right? And then they get Matt Murray out of nowhere. There you go. Now you have a starter, mm -hmm. and Craig Anderson. And I think he'll want to rebound. And he'll no, want... and then no one saw to yeah. Craig Anderson. Very good goalie. Very underrated. Very goalie. underrated goalie. We saw it like in many games we watched. Like I think he honestly, um, I don't know if he's going to play, be playing this year, but that's a huge backup if if he's going to be a backup. Platoon him even, but that's huge. Um, and now they got um, Evgeny Dedanov with some of the young players there. Um, the only thing is Anthony Duclair. He resigned. He's, he's re not resigned yet. Uh, and there's some drama going on there. Yeah, well, with, if he, he resigns, you got what? You know, what's your what's your centers again? Um, we well, got Kachuk. You Kachuk got Duclair. And Duclair. Duclair and, uh, and that's, your, that's your top two. Or Dan Dadanov would probably be in the top six. Right. Yeah. He so, goes in there, scores 30, 20, way, 30 goals, and then you still does got, his role. And know? he still got one of my favorite players, downtown Connor Brown. Exactly. Um, but either way, you're, Had a look, good season. you're looking at a good young core, mm -hmm. and holy crap, are you guys doing well. Um, and they got a, that stud on the blue line, the Tommy Shabbat. Yes. Nice sir. power play quarterback there. What a guy. Um, literally, I think he's one of the most underrated defensemen in the league right now. He was talked about last year a lot, but... Because of Ottawa's bad season, I think yeah. he's... Dude, this guy broke the record for... Uh, he had played 37 minutes one game. Yeah. Most minutes in a game in like 10 years or something like that. Well, I mean, Seth Jones, I think, broke that this year, though. Oh, yeah. With okay. that... Regular season before yeah. the overtime. Yeah. <laughs> well, with that, with that, what, like... Mm -hmm. How many overtimes was it? Five overtimes? Five. Like, Bro, 80 shots on net. And, and Seth Jones was on literally whole time. Mm -hmm. He played 60 minutes that game. That was crazy. Anyway, yeah. back to the Atlantic Division. Holy crap, is this Atlantic Division looking great? You got Ottawa, which we just talked about. Who has, who has built a good young core team that can actually do some damage this year. And then you're like, mm -hmm. oh, but Detroit still sucks, right? And they're not even close. Okay, let's just review the Detroit signings. And I'm not saying, okay, by the way, with Ottawa and Detroit, I'm not saying they're going to be make the playoffs. And I'm not going to say anything like that. But it's a good young experience. But I'm saying you know? they, they closed that gap between, yeah. between not, like, it was clear last year that there was Detroit... Buffalo, sorry, Detroit and Ottawa were clear last place, and then it was Buffalo, right? Mm -hmm. That was the ne next closest team, and Buffalo and Montreal were kind of close, and then Toronto, Florida were kind of close, right? That's how it was in the Atlantic Division. I think it's completely changed now. I think that gap between Detroit, Ottawa, and Buffalo has gone closer, and not only that, Buffalo and Montreal have also gone better, and then you think, oh, so that means Toronto, but Toronto's gone better. So... Every team has gone better, I think, with the exception of Boston. With their, but if they they're injured. But then again, Boston is Boston. Exactly. So you can't count them out. <laughs> but let me just go over the Detroit signing. Nemestikov, which is a decent signing. How much is he getting? Two mil. Two mil, which is fair. I think he's still eh. relatively young too. Right? Yeah, it's a bit overpriced, but you know, I think that's what Detroit had to do. Thomas Grice. Very very good goalie. Like a great oops. goalie. And then Troy Setcher, which I love that they signed him. I have. Two years for 1.7 cap hit? Are you joking? Like, that's a steal. I We're going to be talking about Vancouver and Jim Bennington's situation. And I'll, I'll tell you, I know why Jim Bennington's done what he's done. But holy crap. Troy Stetcher. 1.7 mil. That is a huge signing. Like, I no clue how they got on for that much. If you're, if he's coming to Detroit, out of all teams, I think they would, they would have to pay him more money than that. But they got him on a good contract. Um, they still got Larkin. Um, they have a good, good, good young... Bobby Ryan? Or? Bobby Ryan, too, as well. Thank you. That's the guy I was missing. A little bit old, but there's the veteran presence. That Bobby Ryan? Are you choking? I have no clue why. Um, again, he came from Ottawa, but why would Ottawa let him go? Because he had a huge bounce back. Obviously, we know what happened with him 
and the personal trick in the first game. Personal is- issues, but he came back hat trick first game. And then rest of the season he played very well. And I think he's gonna get back to the old Bobby Ryan that we know and love. Um mm-hmm. and I think that just makes Detroit that much of a better team. You got Ottawa, who's a very good team. Honestly, I'm thinking the bottom two, three, four teams in the Eastern Conference are going to be Metropolitan. But then again, you think Metropolitan is just it's very strong. Like it's unpredictable. Like really. it's so, this year. I think the gap will be closer though. We yeah, can say that this year the the East is the the conference to watch, and it's crazy. And the Atlantic Division is looking so strong because then after you get these teams out. Obviously, the Taylor Hall signing in Buffalo, which is huge, they that changes Buffalo to oh, a yeah, not to forget Taylor Hall. That changes Buffalo to a playoff contender, mm-hmm. and then you're like Montreal. Okay, but Montreal, Tyler Toffoli, which is oh yeah, a huge signing, and top six winger. They lost Max Domi, but they got um, Josh Anderson, who they love. Maybe he's maybe he'll be great. Look, their goalie situation that's solid. I don't know how you're gonna score a goal on uh, Carey Price, and then when Carey Price is off, like. You're huge. Their goalie situation, although they're paying a lot for it and the cap, they're, they still if they have, perform to what we know they can perform, that's a huge. Like you're not scoring goals easily in Montreal, and then you look Toronto. They fixed literally all their issues. There, I don't see many holes on this team. Um, they got the right-handed shot to play with Morgan Riley. Thankfully, hopefully they play him with Morgan Riley because I know there've been some rumors there's Zach Bogosian playing with Morgan Riley, and I will be so pissed if that happens mm-hmm. because that is such a leaf thing to do. I know. I to- really do want to see though um, Muzzin and Brody together. I just love to okay, see it. Sure, he should play with Morgan Riley. Okay, but listen, Morgan Riley. Yeah, he needs. Every that. time we have a good defensive partner, yeah, yeah, yeah. he we always pair up Morgan Riley with the third line. Uh, mm-hmm. Defensive partner. I don't know why you can't uh, ask me why because I can't tell you. Mm-hmm. But listen, we're gonna get if Teacher Brody plays with him, that's huge. Zach Bergeron obviously brings some tough toughness there. Wayne mm-hmm. Simmons. We've been linked to Joe Thornton, which to be honest, I don't understand. We'll talk about that in a different video, but I don't understand that. But either way, the Leafs are looking strong. They still have that top six, the huge top six um, of forwards. Um, Leafs are looking good. Then you look at Tampa Stanley Cup contenders. Put some respect on their name. And then you say Boston sucks, right? Because they just lost. Tory Krug, um, situation with Char is kind of, uh, I don't know what's happening there. but We don't even know what's going on with Rask. Rask, oh yeah, there, there's another guy. But mm-hmm. remember this. They're the Boston freaking Bruins. And we've seen it. They're, like- not, they're not some little little hockey team. Even with the trash, even if they put up a trash lineup, they can still compete for the cup. Yeah, and, and that's, even, that's what pisses me off about them. Mm-hmm. And even if, like, let's say Bergeron and or not Bergeron, uh, Pashnok and Martian are for a while, they still got guys like DeBrusque, um, Anders Bjork, like those guys who can come out and play a bigger role. McAvoy, you know? McAvoy, McAvoy is still very strong good. there. I think he's underrated too. Like, don't count Boston out. Mm-hmm. The East, though, the East Atlantic Division. Holy yeah. crap! It's literally yeah. as we're making this video. No one has signed currently to the Atlantic Division, but I would not be surprised if another big name comes to Toronto mm-hmm. or not Toronto, the Atlantic Division. Like, like, did not, like, it's just huge. Mm-hmm. Also, um, I think Petrie, Jeff Petrie for Montreal, resigned like last week. Too, oh so yeah, very, Jeff Petrie like, as well. Very underrated. Him and Weber, you know, like that brings the core for their D. Like, That's and then good. oh, by the way, Buffalo still has Jack Eichel and uh, Jeff Skinner. Uh, Ristolainen, or I don't know, Ristolainen, Deline. D- I don't know what's going on with Ristolainen. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. But, I don't know. He's had a little bit of issues there, but... We'll see. But, again, obviously, like, every team has their kind of issues. Yeah. I mean, the Leafs still have to tr- sign Travis Dermott and Ilya Mikheyev. So, who knows what they're going to do. Um, do you think maybe... I, or initially, you would think Kerfoot trade, but I don't think that's going to happen. Because, Unless maybe, like, Thornton. <laughs> because VC and Kerfoot played together, right? Oh, really? So, and I think in college, and I think that's why they wanted VC that bad. Um so I think Taylor Hall maybe, or sorry, not Taylor Hall, uh, Justin Hall. We're stuck on Taylor. <laughs> We've been talking about Taylor Hall so much, but Justin they, Hall, yeah. I can see Justin Hall leaving, maybe even Travis Derman. I, I that would break my heart. But. Yeah. Either way, the Leafs are still stacked this season. I know you're gonna come after me. And you'll think well, we're delusional Leaf fans. We are not. I promise you. Last year we literally said it. Last year. Go watch the other video. They like. had. People had them winning the Stanley Cup. They were they were one of the top like five favorites to win the Stanley Cup. I we didn't even have them making the playoffs. We Potentially, did. we thought like it's either like we would not be surprised if they missed. We knew they were gonna be they were gonna barely make it or they're yeah, not gonna make it yeah. at all. And by the way, before the season ended, they were in a hunt with Florida. And to be honest, I was very nervous because 
I, I wouldn't. I usually don't want to admit this, but I didn't think they were gonna uh, beat out that race with Florida, even though they were yeah. fun. I honestly thought they were gonna squeak in. Florida wasn't playing good, but honestly, but like, I don't know. Either way, we I'm gonna be surprised. But this team looks strong. I think we got what we needed: the defense and the, the and, grit. And you the know? grit. A lot of teams got what they Zach needed Bogosian. here. So. I, lot, think, I think a lot of teams realized this year what they needed. And, and, they went and, out and I love it. Jason Spezza. He said that the he said Toronto. Uh, he one of the reasons he resigned again was because they kind of have a chip on their shoulder, mm-hmm. right? Because of how they left last season. I think watch out for Toronto as well. Um, then you have Tampa Bay, which is obviously the Stanley Cup winners, but now cap situation is getting bad. They're, they they can't get rid of Tyler Johnson. Um, yeah, this, these guys are so good that they put freaking. Tyler Johnson on the waivers. A third line center. No, but, but it's not even that. I think it's because Tyler Johnson, the cap hit. Yeah. I, I, and the cap situation for Tampa Bay right now, I don't think they could afford him. Um, but again, they're still extremely stacked. They re signed Pat Maroon as well. Um, Two time Stanley Cup champion, back to can back. Can he make it three? I wouldn't be surprised. People are downing them. People are saying Colorado Vegas uh, for sure um, are favorites to win the cup. Tampa Bay just did it. And Tampa Bay's been the best team in the league for a long time. So I wouldn't doubt them again. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a hugely fun season. But hopefully it happens sooner than later. Mm-hmm.